delightful spot for them, either in the house or out in the garden. And you've asked, you've seen my pictures of my pets with wings. Oh, no. And you asked, can I get something like that at QVC? So look what we did. Uh, these are made by a company called Toscano. I don't know if you guys get their catalog. I love their catalog. They have so many great statuary things in it. Um, this is not a cement statue, right? It's done in a resin. No, it's resin. So it, it's not heavy for you to carry around. Right. But oh they do such an amazing job at Toscano of making it look like real stone and the detail on the faces of these pets is so amazing. Sweet. It's so much better than you could get in I real know. stone. Let's see if you can get both of them. Look at these two. Oh, <gasps> you guys. Aren't they sweet? So this is for your cat or your dog mm -hmm. who has their paw prints on your heart mm -hmm. and uh, ha has never left your life but are no longer there with you in the room. And if you've lost a dog or a cat or maybe you've lost more than one and you have a special place for them in the garden, um, this is going to go along with your paw print solar lights. Mm -hmm. um, I'm working on bringing and paw print stepping stones like I have at my house. I, I just love all of these beautiful pet things. They, they are so sweet. And they are so beautifully crafted. These are handcrafted. Mm -hmm. They were sculpted by artists and then cast and molded. So what you're getting is beautiful quality, something that's going to last for years and years, and something that is just so precious and heartwarming. And actually, my nine-year-old saw the cat and said, can I just have it in my room? Yes. He cat. He it's called so it a, a kitty angel. So even if you have your first babies that are still with you this might be just that little something well, to listen, you know, celebrate how much do your pets add to your life right. i can't imagine mine without them the unconditional love no matter what kind of a day you're having it's so nice to come home to them because mm -hmm. they're always so excited to see you i don't have to tell you pet lovers how your pets make you feel how they fill up your heart um, and it's it's so devastating to lose one it's like losing a child yes. you know for for a lot of us and, you know, I just think this is such a beautiful way to remember them or to, you know, uh, honor them if they are still with you, right. like, you know, for your kids and grandkids. Exactly. To have it in their room like a guardian angel pet. I love that idea. Uh -huh. Exactly. Because they are a part of our family. They are those um, special members of our family. And you want to celebrate them. And the wings are just, they're beautifully crafted. They look like feathered wings. There's the kitty cat. And I love, too, that their expression on their faces, they could be sleeping. You know, they're just peaceful. Yeah. There's almost like a hint of a smile. They're curled up. They're two pounds. They're made of crushed stone and a real high quality uh, designer resin com a combination. So put these outside. They're weather resistant. Just don't leave them out in frigid temperatures. You might want to bring them inside or well, put them in the shed. I don't for leave any of my statuary outside right. when it freezes and thaws and freezes and thaws because it's not good for stone or or resin or anything right. like that. So, you know, bring it inside and make it a an indoor uh, commemorative thing. Exactly. I know my mom has um, a little corner for one of her cats that has passed away with little photographs and um, a, a little kitty uh, cremains, as they call them, mm -hmm. um, in a pretty little box. And this would be perfect in an area like that with a beautiful photograph of your cat or yes. dog. Um, look how sweet the cat's face is, I know. too. Super sweet. And, you know, she's sleeping with her tail curled mm -hmm. around and her one little paw up like this. And I'll turn her around so you can see the back. They are 360 degrees, even from up above. And the, of texture, decoration. the texture is phenomenal. I mean, you yeah. really can feel it almost like feels like fur. It's whitewashed, so it adds to that beautiful three-dimensional quality. Mm -hmm. And they really are the sweetest, beautiful um, composition. I, I just love them. We don't have a lot of these to go around, just like the, uh, the faux moss animals earlier that blew out of here uh, yes. from Barb King. Uh, we have a lot of animal people that watch my shows. and. Mm -hmm. I know you guys have been looking for things for your garden that have a pet theme or a pet memorial theme or a pet angel theme. And so we're trying to bring you a few things like that this year. Just the, the best ones we could find. Look how the, cute. the puppy is very popular Look if you the... want the dog. Don't wait. Oh. So cute with this floppy ears. Yeah. I and know. again, they're just propped on their little paws. Mm -hmm. Just very sweet, angelic, precious. These are those pieces that are just going to, you're going to walk by, you're going to see faces. mixed in your garden. Aww. And it's just something that makes you smile and it makes you remember your loved, your yeah. little love pets. And you know what I've done is I've, I've, um, I've, I lost my two Cocker Spaniels a couple of years ago, my longtime boys, Johnny yeah. and Jimmy, and so I created an area for them outside, and I got some, you know, you can get, find at your local garden shop, just flat stones that say something like love mm -hmm. or joy, 
and I, I kind of put those around the base of, of the trunk of a big tree, two of the doggy statues, and then another stone that has the, their dates, 2000 to 2016 for Jimmy. He lived a long time. Um, and it'd be so neat to have a little statue like this in there amongst some, some flowers and maybe you have a water feature. Um, this is flat on the bottom. I just want to yes. call out too, if you have a little stone wall, it mm -hmm. can sit along a wall like I have around my back garden with some a sitting angel statues. Yeah. Um, also, if you want to just put this on like your deck railing or if you wanted to put it on a table outside on your deck or patio, would look beautiful as well. And I also love statuary like this around your hearth. I around the too. fireplace yes. inside. Yes, and there's something about it that it's curved and it's designed so it could kind of tuck in maybe on a table or on a hearth or even in maybe an oversized planter. And if you want to plant flowers in memory in a planter, maybe you don't have a yard, maybe you just have a balcony, this is something that that can tuck right into as well. Yeah. And I just think it brings such um, comfort and peace, even especially to your children. When they lose a pet, it really hits them hard. So, so I know, it's, and it's, it's hard and I, I, a, a thousand of these are gone. On, by the way, a lot of you write to me and say, oh my gosh, Carolyn, I just lost my cat who was 18. I don't know what to do. I'm so sad. Yeah. How do you deal with this? I don't know what to do because, you know, people know I've lost many pets over the years and it never gets easier. No. But something that brings me peace is to create a special spot for them so I can go out and, and visit, um, you know, and think about my, my dog or my cat. And, and especially if you had a pet that used to love to either, like if a cat either to be in the garden or to look out the window mm -hmm. at the birdies. You can put this next to a bird bath or something, or bird in, feeder. Put it in a bay window if that, you know, mm -hmm. just anywhere where you will remember your pet. And my dogs used to always follow me around the garden, Aww. the ones that are gone now. And I, they would never run off. I never had to have them on a leash or have my fence in my yard. They would just stay with me. And I know a lot of you have dogs like that and they just would sit in the in the flowers and watch you, so you know, do, pulling weeds or yeah. whatever. And uh, you know, if you have lost a pet that used to spend time with you outside, uh, this is so nice to have a little spot for them in their favorite garden area. And to know that this is from Design Toscano, so it is a quality, it's a designer, yes. sculpture um, company that really does pride themselves in giving you real artistic pieces. So. Mm -hmm. Think about that too. You're getting quality and elegance and artistry, but also such a beautiful keepsake that you can put indoors or out. And you know, and I love the, the idea of our pets getting their angel wings back. I, I think do. they were angels Look to start that. with and they're angels again. I agree. And, and I truly believe we'll see our pets again someday. So yeah. uh, this will give you some peace in the meantime. Uh, we have an update for you on the dog. Oh, he is so cute. We had 1,400 of him to start with. There's fewer than 500 left in our doggy, Aww. a few more than that in the cat. So please stay in the ordering process for our beautiful Memorial Angel pet statues. Thank you, Janine, Thank for bringing you. these to I'm us so this year. I'm so happy to bring They're them. They're very popular. And again, only order of the season on these guys. If you want these, get them before they sell out. Uh, we started the show with Barb King's sculptured faux moss animals. We brought in 20